my dear brothers and sisters in the risen lord seven weeks back we started the london season with the celebration of the ash day smearing ashes on us or making the sign of the cross with the ashes on our forehead starting the season of lent during this season for the last 7 weeks we were remembering the suffering of christ today which culminated in the death of christ it was a season for us for our repentance for our reconciliation and for our renewal during these last 7 uh, weeks we were doing that we were repenting about our sins we were reconciling with ourselves with our fellow beings and with god and we were renewing our life making changes in our life while we were uh, reflecting on the passion and death the suffering of christ this year it had got a difference during these days we also really put into sufferings the sufferings because of the fast spread of the corona virus covid-19 the whole world was in a way participating in that suffering as of today more than 200 countries were affected more than 17 lakhs of people are infected with this virus and more than a lakh people have died the people started thinking what is it people went into despair sadness they lost all hope and in the culmination of that we celebrated the good friday on which similarly the apostles also thought that everything is lost that thought there is no hope they went into despair but after this celebration today when we celebrate the easter vigil we have come to hope we are celebrating the feast of hope the feast of faith we are proclaiming the resurrection of christ the sadness the despair turn into hope and joy during the life of christ jesus had told the disciples the apostles many times about his crucifixion about his death he said the son of man has to suffer in the hands of the high priests and the scribes they will put him to death but on the third day he will rise again not only once he said it many times about his resurrection about his passion his death and resurrection but the apostles have forgotten it but the enemies of christ remembered it that's why they asked the permission from pilot to keep guards there to have a watch over the tomb 
so that they said he has stalled that he will be risen from the dead he will rise again they remembered it but the apostles have forgotten they have no faith in it and we know that the guards were there but we see that on the easter sunday he was risen after two days he was risen on the third day the people who had faith in that were the enemies of christ the people who believed that was mary magdalene and the women that's why they ran or they went early morning to the tomb and they saw they saw the empty tomb saint john's gospel speaks about the empty tomb while the other synoptic gospels they speak about the resurrection the empty tomb is the symbol of resurrection jesus is no more in the tomb he is risen he is truly risen and this resurrection of christ is the basis of our faith saint paul says if jesus he has not risen then our faith is in vain when we started the ash day we said man you are dust and unto dust you will you will return today it is said that you will rise because jesus is risen the resurrection of the christ is the reason for our faith it is the reason for our faith and our hope as well as for our love or our charity this empty tomb very well speaks about the resurrection of christ when this woman saw the empty tomb they ran to the apostles to peter peter and the other apostles ran and came and they found they went in say peter went inside and found the empty with only the veil there and they all ran to speak about the resurrection of christ they had the faith they had the hope and they had the love that's why they ran very fast we have seen the tombs of many people if you go to america united states of america you can see a beautiful tomb with black marble on which it is written here lies president john of john of kennedy the president of america if we go to rome you can see the beautiful tomb with white marble where it is written here lies pope john 23 if people go to mecca they can see the tomb of prophet muhammad but if you go to palestine there you can see a tomb where it is written he is not here he is risen this makes the difference between christianity and the other religion this makes the difference with christ and other religious leaders because he is not only dead but he is risen the resurrection of christ become the basis the foundation of our faith that's why saint paul said if jesus is not risen there in there is no meaning for my preaching and today we are celebrating that pope francis 
few years back when he spoke during the Easter Vigil 2016, he said, we have to come out of the tomb of despair to the outside of hope. We should not be buried within ourselves. We have to come out to the others. So the death is not an end. The Good Friday will turn into the Easter Sunday. The suffering which the people undergoes now because of this coronavirus and other things, a lot of difficulties, but it is not the end. It will change. We have hope because we Christians are people of hope because we have strong faith in the resurrection of Christ. That gives meaning for us to live. And today's this Easter Vigil liturgy is mainly having three main things which this year we are not doing it or celebrating it now. It is one is the blessing of water, the new water, the new light, and renewal of the baptismal promises. Life is, uh, water is the symbol of life. But it is also the symbol of death. The new water gives new life. And the new light gives as a new way from the darkness or the despair in which we are. In olden times, the, the sacrament of baptism were done only mainly on this day, the Holy Saturday, because it is in between the Good Friday and the day of Easter. The baptism is in the sacrament of baptism, a person is dying with Christ when he is dipped into water and he is coming or rising with Christ in the resurrection. So, this baptism is celebrated during this Holy Saturday, during the Easter Vigil Mass. And nowadays we celebrate it by renewing the baptismal promises during the time of our baptism, our godparents professed the faith for us. But now every year during this liturgy, we renew that baptismal promises and partake in the death and resurrection of Christ. This Easter Sunday should give us more hope. Because Jesus is risen and we also will rise from our death. Let us celebrate this Easter Sunday amidst these difficulties, giving more hope to the people, proclaiming that Christ will rise, uh, Christ is risen and you also will rise. Let the whole world know about Christ about the resurrection of Christ. And we are the people who have to proclaim about that. So how deep is our faith is a matter of reflection for us today. Are we really believe in that risen Christ? Do we have that hope that we too will be rising with Christ? And whether it is leading us to the love of God as well as our fellow beings. I remember the story of a missionary priest whose mother died. He was in the northeastern part of India. He could not come for the 
funeral because in olden times there was no mobile phone or this kind of a transportation system so he thought that any of he cannot attend so he came for the first death anniversary and when he reached he saw the tomb of his mother a heap of soil and he looked the nearby tombs and he found very beautiful tombs with marble slabs or granite slabs and when he looked his mother's tomb only a heap of soil he was very sad and he was sad that he could not make a good memorial for his mother while he was praying there he heard the voice of his mother his mother said my dear son i know you are very sad you are very sad because you could not make a good memorial for me but don't worry because i have a beautiful memorial and that memorial is you you are my memorial today jesus is speaking to us somewhat like that you are my memorial you are the witness of my resurrection your life is the proof for my resurrection today let us become really the people of witness witnessing the resurrection of christ and speaking to the whole world that don't be in despair as jesus has risen we too will come out of the despair situation these tombs is not permanent from there we will rise these difficulties today we face are not end are not the end it will we will come out of it we will succeed from darkness we will come to light from all those that is dirty we will wash it with the new water and come out very clean and we will be successful again in our life these difficulties are only temporary our life here will turn to a life of resurrection so with this i wish all of you a happy easter may the risen christ be always with us as he is risen he said i will be with you till the end of the world as we are assembled together we gather in his name he is amidst us he is around us and he is among us so let us experience him with that faith and marching ahead with hope and showing love to god and love to our fellow beings may god bless all of us amen